Handy Hudson Knight here, and I'm going to give you a quick tip on making sure that you keep your brake rotors clean after doing any sort of job here with the wheel off. Um, as you can see, I've got a little bit of grease on my hands. Um, there's oil um, and other types of grease and debris on these other parts. And when you go to put your wheel back on, the rotor needs to be clean for the ma maximum effectiveness of your braking power. So what you want to do is you want to get some some good brake parts cleaner and um, again make sure that you you wear I'm wearing safety I'm wearing safety goggles um, and I'll tell you why because about a year ago I was cleaning off some parts with uh, with this brake parts cleaner because this can be used in a number of different parts in your car to keep it clean. And I accidentally, I didn't know that what direction this was when I sprayed it. Um, and it sprayed onto the component. Thankfully, it was sprayed in the right direction, uh, number one. But number two, it sprayed at the component. I didn't have my safety goggles on. Uh, I have them on most of the time. Unfortunately, I didn't at that moment for whatever reason and the brake parts cleaner sprayed into my eye and it blurred my vision for several hours and it wasn't until the next day that my clear vision came back. I was scared that I was going to lose uh, my vision or just have it be that way the rest of my life. So please be careful when you're using this. So what you want to do, and I like to use the uh, this fitting on the end, it just aims it better. Just spray down your brake rotor and uh, you can use a cloth. Oh, it looks like my last one. Time to get some more. You can use clean cloth to wipe it down. As you can see, um, a lot of this will just be brake dust though from the assembly. You just wanna make sure that these rotors, and make sure to rotate it too so you can get to the part that was un underneath the caliper here. Just make sure that's clean so that when you go to install the wheel it's you can ensure that uh, it's going to be good. Now the, you might be asking well, what about the other side of the rotor? Well generally the other side of the rotor isn't going to get the dirt just from touching this. It might get a little bit but um, you're gonna if you want to make sure it's really clean you're gonna have to take off the rotor which is more involved but this should be good enough. Appreciate you watching, and be sure to subscribe to my channel, The Handy, Handy Hudsonite, if I could say the name, for more tips, hacks, and reviews so that you can get the job done. And be sure to also hit that notification bell so that you can get up to date when my content goes up. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.